Hey guys, how are you today? Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the pointer tool. Um, and the pointer tool is available on Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Fireworks, Dreamweaver, I think it's even on Flash. Um, Adobe Flash that is. So anyway, um, it's quite a useful tool. It is the, you can say it's the king of making vector shapes. Um, so we're just going to have a look at the pointer tool. Okay. First of all, this is the pointer tool. It looks like a fountain pen. Um, when I click, the first thing that I want to uh, talk to you about is anchor points. Clicking, the blue thing, the blue uh, square that's created, that is an anchor point that has been created. Now I need to select where I want to put place my second anchor point. So if I click again, it places my second anchor point. If I click again, I, again, you get the idea. Now, if I wanted it to go in a straight line what I need to do is press the shift key and it restricts me and stops it from going in a, in a sort of a diagonal line whereas if I let go of shift I'll go a diagonal line if I press shift it can only go on a 43 degrees angle or a straight line yeah so 45 degrees or 90 degrees so if I click again to my next anchor point and I can just join my anchor points together uh, something I should have mentioned there is that I'll just show you again one two three four is that when I'm joining my paths so this is a path that's created so this is a, a, another keyword for you guys um, the path the pen tool will have a circle next to it and that means the path is being joined so I've joined up my path um, I'll just edit undo what I just did okay so um, another thing that we can do with the pen tool is once the path has been selected so if the whole path has been selected I can click on the pen tool and add more anchor points. So I'm just going to add an anchor point right at the top there. Yeah. Um, I can also remove anchor points. So you can see the minus sign next to the pen tool. I can click and an anchor point has been removed. I can also modify my anchor points. So if I click on the selection tool, the sub selection tool that is, which is right where my mouse is now, I can highlight an anchor point and move the anchor point. And I can modify things and alter them the way I want to yeah so that's something quite useful as well um, another thing I want to mention is at the moment the anchor points are straight they're not they don't have any handles and I'll show you what I mean by handles if I using previously when I was putting an anchor point down I just clicked but this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag so that's created a ha handle um, again, I'm going to click and drag and that has given me a curved line and this time I'm just going to join up my anchor points. You can see that this time I have got these handles. Now these handles can be modified again and you can move them about. You can also push them closer together. Um, but notice one thing, um, this could be some, sometimes you might want to do this where you, if you want to pull a handle, you want both sides to move. But what if I was happy with the top half of the shape, but not with the bottom half? What I need to do is I need to press the Alt key on the keyboard and then move the um, anchor point, uh, sorry, the handle. This time only the lower half of the shape has been modified. So just another example, this is where the whole thing is being changed. This time I'm going to press Alt and try and only the bottom half, sorry, oops, press Alt. That time I let go of the Alt key too soon. So I release the mouse and then let go of the Alt key. That's the key to um, that working. So, okay, let's see if I can um, create a, a love heart or something. Um, so I'm going to start right at the bottom and go to the top point and pull. As you can see, I can't draw the second half of the heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to join onto the anchor point. And what I'm going to do is using the selection tool, I'm going to actually move my handles. I'm just going to straighten it out. So you can see that's sort of like a love heart, but obviously I'm missing the, the key point or the V within there. Um, there's actually two ways of doing this. Um, the first way is going to be if I press alt and I click I've got now two oops I let go of the alt key so if I alt click and let go and then let go of the alt what I can do is I can just sort of uh, try this 
um, and it's not going to look pretty I'm just going to show you guys for the sake of it if I highlight both of them and then if I press the path tab so if I've click, clicked on the path panel and then hopefully it is the punch path the one on top has actually punched the whole thing up it has a hole punch it's actually punched into the second path and that is quite an interesting thing to, to sort of understand as well and then obviously I can modify this anchor point uh, let's see what I can do if I press alt and then just pull this side as well then pull this side and then that sort of created a sort of a love heart kind of anyway I'm sure you guys will do a better job of this but anyway that is one of the ways of doing it the second actually I'm gonna leave the second one for the next tutorial um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial so like I just um, the thing I did just now was the punch path tool there's quite a lot of few different um, different buttons here the crop path and all and all sorts um, um, so you guys experiment with that and I'll go through some more of that next tutorial and um, if you want to see that tutorial and it, and it just appears in your on your um, YouTube homepage subscribe and uh, yeah leave some comments let me know how I how the tutorial was was it too fast too slow and so on so yeah that was just the basics I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial take care